Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. During drilling operations, we must always pay close attention to the amount of mud that goes into the borehole through the drill string and how much mud comes out of the borehole. The mud flow rate that goes into the borehole can easily be measured. We just count the number of pump strokes per minute and multiply it by the cylinder capacity of the pump. On the rig floor, it is indicated by an SPM display. SPM stands for strokes per minute of the pump, so the ingoing mud can easily be evaluated. Of course, we can also measure the mud flow coming out of the borehole. Here we usually use a flow paddle. The flow paddle hangs across the outcoming flow in the mud line under the rig floor. The more mud comes out of the borehole, the further the paddle is pushed to the side. So the deflection of the paddle is a measure of the flow rate. The mud logger, who is always present on the rig side, continuously compares the mud flow that goes into the borehole with the mud flow that comes out of the borehole. Of course, that should be the same. If they are not balanced, then we are either losing mud into the borehole, which is bad, or we have inflows from the surrounding formation. That is even worse. Such inflow could be, for example, dangerous gas, which can arrive at the surface. So during drilling operations, it is pretty simple to detect any mud losses or inflows. But we are not always drilling. From time to time, a round trip is required. For example, when the beat has become dull, we have to bring the entire drill string out of the borehole, secure them in the derrick, then exchange the drill bit and run the drill string back into the hole. This is called a round trip. During tripping, the pumps are switched off. This leads to a challenge. No drilling mouth is pumped into the borehole, and of course nothing should come out of it at the other end. Therefore, the question is, how can we find out whether we are having losses or inflows? For this purpose, we have on every drilling rig a so-called trip tank. It is a tank with a rel relatively small surface area, which is connected to the borehole. The trip tank has a scale, with which you can see how high the mud in the tank is. And of course, the mud level in, is the same in the borehole and in the trip tank. There is a pump connected to the trip tank, which circulates the mud from the trip tank back into the borehole, so that the borehole is always full and overflowing back into the trip tank. This little flow loop ensures that the borehole is always filled up to the mud return line. Now, when we are tripping out, which means we are pulling out drill part of the hole, the mud level in the trip tank should decrease accordingly. It is the same like in a bathtub. If we get out of the water, the water level will decrease. And of course, it is exactly the same in the borehole. With each stand of the drill pipe we remove out of the hole, the mud level in the trip tank will go down by a certain distance on the scale. And if we trip the drill string back into the hole, the mud level in the trip tank should rise by a certain distance on the scale. As long as everything is okay, then we are fine. But should we have losses or inflows in the borehole while tripping, the indication on the scale in the trip tank will no longer correspond to what we expect it to be. So we immediately see that something is wrong somewhere. The mud logger and the drilling crew continuously observe the level of trip tank during tripping. As long as the mud logger gives a thumbs up, then all is balanced and okay. Otherwise, something is wrong and an alarm is given. So that is how the trip tank works. If you want more details about the mud conditioning system on the rig site, come to our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you here. Look off.